What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and today we're going to be talking about one of the most underrated tools in Photoshop, and I'm gonna be showing you how you can use this tool to create awesome panoramic Instagram assets. And I'm gonna start right now. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about the slice tool. Now this tool is really handy if you want to break up your photo into different sections. And this becomes incredibly handy when you're wanting to use it for Instagram. Now because of the constrictions of Instagram, you can't upload realistically very high resolution photos. So because of that, you can actually slice your photos up into different sections so you can display the really cool details that you've got in your photo in high resolution. So let me show how you can do this in Photoshop. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo that you want to slice up. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this panoramic photo that I took in 2019 when I visited Yosemite National Park. Now obviously, if I try to upload this to Instagram, it's going to crop the hell out of it and reduce the resolution. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to slice it up so Instagram can display it in a horizontal panoramic. So firstly, we need to go ahead and access the slice tool. So on the left-hand side, you will find the crop tool, but if you click and hold, you will see it drops down into a sub menu. And we want to go ahead and choose the slice tool that you can see here. Then what you need to do is select the entire image. So I'm going to click, drag and drag over the entire image you have here. And then I'm going to release. Now, once you've done that, all you'll need to do is right click on that photo and we want to go ahead to divide slices. Now, this is the most important part. We want to work out how many slices will fit into a photo. Now, you can do divided by horizontal if you want to do a horizontal photo, or you can do divide by vertically, which is what we're going to be doing for Instagram. So in this particular case, I'm going to choose three, but for instance, you could go ahead and choose six, and it will create six individual assets. But in this particular case, we're gonna be nice and simple, and we're just going to do three. So we're going to have a left, middle and right photo. Once we've done that, all you'll need to do is click OK. And what Photoshop will do is it will easily show you where the slices fall. So if you wanted to perfectly slice the photo in the middle, this will allow you to see it preview before you go ahead and create the assets. So once we've done this, all we need to do now is actually save this photo in its individual format. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to File, then we're gonna go down to Export, and then we're gonna go ahead to save for web or legacy. And this will open up with a separate menu here. So once this menu has popped up, you all you need to do realistically is change two things. So here we can change the file format. So obviously you can either choose PNG, but for this, I'm just going to keep it JPEG. And then you can choose the quality of the saving. So you've got low, medium, high, very high, and then maximum. I'm just going to choose maximum in this particular case. And once you've done that, all you'll need to do is go down and click save. And again, it will open up with a new dropdown and this is where we want to save the photos. Now, this might look normal, but in fact, if we go ahead down to the bottom here, you can see there is a new dropdown here called slices. So you have a choice between all slices, all user slices or selected slices. In this particular case, we want to save the left, middle and right slice. So we're gonna go ahead and choose all slices. And then I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and call it Yosemite 1.0. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just simply click save. Now this may take several seconds uh, because we're saving three individual photos, but it must say it shouldn't take too long. My computer will probably take about 10 seconds to go ahead and save them. And then once it's done that, it will actually save them in a folder for you. So now it's gone ahead and saved them. All we need to do now is I'm just going to minimize Photoshop. You'll notice that there is now an image folder appeared on my desktop. So all we need to do is now go ahead and click, double click on that uh, photo here or that folder. And then as you can see, we've got Yosemite one, two, and three. So if we go ahead and just quickly preview this, now we've got a square photo of the left side, the middle, and then we've got the right side. So now I can individually up these, load these to Instagram to create an awesome panoramic that is seamless. So you can slide over to the left or slide over to the right to see the full photo in its entirety. And honestly, it is that easy to use the slice tool. 
Brilliant, and there we go guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, but also subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. If you want to learn more about Photoshop and have in-depth tutorials to really help you guys out, I've got a playlist just up here. But if you're more in a rush and you want to learn nice and quick, I've actually got a two minutes tutorials video literally just down here. But until next time guys, keep creating. Thank you.